Gray Eagle here again. This video is called Watch. First of all, let me make it perfectly clear that I do not set dates, but I do watch for the signs of the times. The Lord would not have bothered to tell us to watch if there were nothing to look for. I heard one big time radio preacher say that pre-tribbers make a mistake because they go around with a Bible in one hand and a newspaper in the other hand or words to that effect. But, the big time radio preacher, in my humble opinion, is the one who errs, as he is known to be a preterist. I have dealt with pre preterism previously on my rapture in the uh, of the church, what the Bible says, found at ourchurch.com slash member slash a slash ahs. Why you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because our Lord himself ordered us to watch. Watch for what? His second coming, of course. This is so important to the Lord, he actually offers rewards to them that watch for his coming. Second Timothy, two, uh, Second Timothy 4, 8. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto them also that love his appearing. There are no less than ten New Testament verses that relate directly to watching for the second coming and the end of the age. Matthew twenty four forty two and twenty five thirteen, Mark thirteen thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty seven, Luke twelve thirty eight, Luke twenty one thirty six, first Peter four seven, and Revelation three three. The Lord gives us four more general commands to watch in first Corinthians sixteen thirteen, Colossians four two. 1 Thessalonians 5, 6, and 1 Timothy 4, 5. Again, I say the Lord would not have bothered to tell us to watch if there were nothing to watch for. When the Lord says something this many times, I think the Christian should pay attention. Now, do not confuse watching with date setting. Some would accuse watchers of date setting and attempt to discredit those that watch. Nothing could be further from the truth. Watchers are merely obeying the book. Now, trust Christ today, for the Bible says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That name, BTW, is Jesus. But you have to mean business with God. Keep on trucking for the Lord. Until next week.